Hi guys. I'm not going to beat around the bush because you'll already know what's going on by the title. <laughs> We're getting a baby dog. We're getting drugged by a baby sister. Yeah, little sister, little man. We've told him he's going to the toy shop just now, so he's patiently waiting at the door. He is actually waiting at the door. Look, look at him waiting. Whenever, whenever he hears, <laughs> the, whenever he hears the words toy and shop, he goes to the door. So we thought we would vlog it. This is something that we've wanted to do. Honestly, since a few months into having Drogba, we knew that we wanted a, a friend for him, yeah. a baby dog. At that time, we weren't, we weren't really able to do it financially. And also the flat that we had at the time as well was really small. It probably, in hindsight, it was probably actually too small for Drogba as well, but the only saving grace was I was home. Working because I get to work from home, I was always home with him, so I was constantly taking him out and stuff, but now we live in this house. We actually knew that we were going to get another dog after our honeymoon. That was the plan, but if you've been watching our weekly vlogs, you'll see that we've actually postponed our honeymoon um, for a whole year. Maybe even more than that, honestly. We're in no rush. We just decided to put it on hold, and as soon as we did that, as soon as we decided to postpone our honeymoon, that was when we were like, I actually was like, Right, we can get our baby dog yeah, now. Yeah, Jamie done the exact same thing I done <clears throat> when we found Drogba. She went we on didn't three. find Drogba, yeah. you found Drogba. Yeah, when I found Drogba. <laughs> And we can't do this right now, we need to take him to the toy shop. Yeah. Tell you what, we'll tell you the story about how we got Drogba and how we're getting baby dog after we've been to the toy shop. But we're also, we're going to the toy shop for Drogba, but we're also going to pick up some stuff for baby dog. So let's go. We're at the toy shop, look how excited he is, oh my god. So we've got a lot of stuff to pick up here, we need to get our food, we need to get our crate as well, we're going to crate trainer to start with, and we need to get some toys. Okay, do you think we've got enough? I don't know. What do we have, toys? Baby toy, baby Kong, stuff for inside the Kong, we've got our crate, we've got her puppy food, we've got Lily's kitchen treats arriving, yeah. we've got puppy pad. We can always come back. We've, if... we've not got a lead is the only thing, but has Robert got a black, other black lead? Yeah, but it's, it's like, it's a long big one, do you want to get like a wee short one? I think just, just so we've got her friend in the garden and Just that. for a small one? Just right, so okay, we can we'll, practice where we're walking. Okay, we'll pick one of them up too. Right, you've got some choice. Hi, baby. Oh, this is for your baby sister. Right, I think we should just get her a nice chunky, look, there's a good one. Just a wee sturdy one, leather. Chunky lead. Okay, yeah, that looks you good. You think so? It looks a decent length, yeah. We well, don't want her running far away. What about, oh, that's nice. Look, yeah, like that one, like, oh. Yeah, that's a nice one. A lead for the baby dog. A lead for the baby dog. Right, okay, we'll get that one. <laughs> that one. Oh, that's got him to sit down, that's the one. There you go. Good boy, good boy, okay. Toys Finger for toy. everyone, toys Finger for toy. everyone. Let's go. Mission successful. We've got everything back here, we've got a dog in the back. And another thing which is actually kind of hilarious, we, we, we were going to change our car anyway, but we actually need to change our car now because we don't have enough space for both the dogs. Unless we put all the seats down, then yeah. they'd be fine. Obviously, baby dog will be on my lap for the start. And actually, we probably won't be really leaving the house with her that much. We'll just be in the house and in the garden and just playing with her and getting her used to training. We're really excited to train her as well because German Shepherds, they're not um, they're not a joke breed. You really need to put a lot of love and care into how you train them. What we found with Drogba was that he's, well, I, I don't know if it's across the board, but he was so easy to train, wasn't he? He picked things up so quick and... Yeah, he's a really smart boy. German Shepherds are really, really clever as a breed as well. You need to constantly keep them mentally stimulated. So like, we play hide and seek with Drogba. We just play games with them all the time. And yeah, it just keeps them entertained and it also tires them out a bit. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go home. We're gonna set up the crate for her. Um, and we're gonna put our stuff away and just make sure that we've got everything that we need, but we're pretty sure that we're sorted now. I'm gonna read a few more blogs today just on some hints and tips on how to integrate your dogs. I'm just really excited. <laughs> His Jack's excitement's internal. <laughs> Drogba just went in the bag and got baby sister's toy out. But he's got a wee monkey. Oh my God, sit down. Wait, are you going to be gentle? Gentle. Oh, there you go. Look at that wagon tail. The nice thing about Drogba, one of the nice things, is that when he gets a new toy, he loves it. And that's all he'll play with. Do you love him? Oh, good boy. Let's move this table. We're just getting set up and we think that this is a nice little space. And this cage is massive. Look. I'm in it. Oh 
my goodness me, I'm in a cage. Right, come on in. Me, you can both fit. So she'll be super tiny for about five minutes. <laughs> um, and this is really great. And crate training is just a really good thing to give the dog some separation when they need it. And it also will be like a safe space for her. Right, that's great. We've got a little bed coming tomorrow morning. And we're gonna go and get some blankets and get her, get her bowls in there as well. Hello. So it's the morning that we are getting baby dog and tragedy has struck. Jack's got food poisoning. We went out for lunch yesterday and he's been like throwing up all night, like throwing up. So it's so sad. I don't think he's going to be able to come with me to, to get baby dog. He's seen how he feels, but we need to leave in an hour and a half. And yeah, I just don't, I just don't think he's going to be able to come. But if there's one cure for food poisoning, it's a puppy. And he just needs to rest up, get it out of the system. Drogba, are you getting baby sister today? Guess what? Are you gonna get are you gonna get a baby sister today? The place that we're picking up baby puppy, and I'm calling her baby puppy because we're not hundred percent on the name yet. I think we need to see her and we need to we need to hold her and you know see see who she is, see what she's like. We need to drive about an hour and a half down to England actually. We need to go to Carlisle. And we said yesterday that we'd tell you the story about how we got drug bat and how we're getting baby puppy. And I'm just gonna wrap it up in a really short, sweet story. Um basically both of them uh, or from farms, uh, both of them, it was family pets and we, ju we just looked on Gumtree to be honest and then and that was that's the situation. Neither of them have their pedigree booklets or whatever, what's it, Casey registered? We don't care about that, we just want them to be happy healthy dogs. We're not going to breed them or anything like that. I went to see Baby Puppy with my mum and dad actually and she's perfect. When getting a German Shepherd as well, we were really careful to go for someone that's not breeding them just to breed them. I don't know if you guys know this, but German Shepherds um, in crufts and in dog shows, people at one point, I don't know if it's still the case, but I think it is, bred German Shepherds to have a really sloping low back. Um, this is literally just for aesthetics. People just like the way it looked. It's actually really cruel on the German Shepherd. It gives them bad legs. German Shepherds have kind of bad hips anyway. Hip dysplasia can happen. So if you're getting a German Shepherd, make sure you have insurance because you might have to look after them when they're older. You might have to get them like operated on and stuff. Drogba's really great. Every time we go to the vets, they have a little feel around his hips to make sure everything's okay and he's great. We actually get told off the vets quite often that he's just such a perfect specimen of a German Shepherd. So, But if you're getting a German Shepherd, just make sure you look into the breed, into what care is involved. We've got two deliveries coming today. Lily's Kitchen, which is what we feed Drogba mixed in with his dry food. And we've got like little biscuits and stuff coming. We've got loads of training treats for both Drogba and Puppy because we're going to train them to be nice to each other. Drogba will growl at baby Puppy because puppies are apparently really rude. They have no social skills. <laughs> they do not know that it's rude to jump on a adult dog's head. There'll be a lot of like power play and there'll be a lot of learning lessons. We're gonna let them ease themselves in. We're gonna give them time apart. We're gonna give them time together. We're very excited. I'm taking this very seriously. I'm up and I'm ready. I want baby puppy to know that her mum's a bad bitch. The only thing that I'm a little bit nervous about is just Drogba's emotions and I hope that he's not upset with us because in the long run he will be so happy to have a friend, a companion, but at first he might be a little bit put out. Oh good boy, you're going to be fine aren't you? Look at those, I think he's giving me the evils. Good boy, oh give him a scratch in his belly. So your world's going to change Mr. Man. Jack's still not better. He is proper thrown up. We've given him some Lucas aid and water and he's had a little bit of medicine to see if it'll settle his, settle his stomach but I just feel terrible for him because he was really excited about this but we're on the way. Dad's driving and <laughs> we're really excited. I can't wait. So what I've got here is I've got a puppy pad from a lap. I've got a towel from a lap. I've got some little biscuits. Lily's Kitchen. Forgot it was October week, so we're stuck in a little bit of traffic. I'm just really excited now. I hope everything's going to be fine. I just hope as well that Jack's feeling better, otherwise it's going to be a bit of a chaotic household for someone that's not feeling great. We're 10 minutes away. Ah! Oh, man alive. I hope she likes me still. I hope Drop is happy. Oh. I'm in the dog club. <laughs> <Hi. Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <gasps> Look at you. This is our baby dog. Come here. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
it's okay. We have a puppy. A wee blonde head. She's just like me. Look at but her tones are matching. Oh, look at this girl meeting her daddy. Oh, who's that? Oh, giving him kisses. Giving your daddy kisses. <laughs> oh, good girl. She smells so good. Doesn't she? So we just introduced her to Drogba and it went really, really well. Drogba started getting a wee bit excited at the end, but he was just sniffing her all over and dribbling on her. So we're, we're working on it, aren't we, baby dog? I know, I know. Hello. Hello, Rio. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Come on in. <laughs> Jack's doing better. He's still not 100%, but he's, he's still sick, but he's doing better. Look at this dog. Hi. So this is the new addition to our family. Drogba's doing really, really well with her. We've still got a lot of work to do, so you might not see loads of her quite yet, because we need to get her integrated into the family. But Drogba really likes her. we just got some work to do to integrate them, don't we? Don't we, baby? And we don't have a name for her yet. Oh, she likes that. So you guys, that is the update. We're so happy, we're really excited. And we'll let you know when we have a name. <laughs> <laughs> first boop. The first boop. My dad. My dad. <laughs> Tiny little flat job was crying to go to the toy shop. Stop. <laughs> Am I? Is this child safety? <laughs> Let me see it. Oh, I got a like, farm foods brochure. Lovely. It's definitely going to happen. Drug bat. An email. Are you going to be gentle with the puppy? <laughs> oh, I'm a wee bit sick. 